Folks, I'm trying my hardest how, how to start this. Uh, what I'm wanting to, to tell you is how a, uh, what the, what the bird stones were, what they were used for. But it, I need to just, I, I don't know. Um, uh, there was a, when I was a kid, <clears throat> dad had old friend. Dad was old to begin with. I mean, I'm the youngest of 11. And dad was 54 when I was born. And he had friends his age and older, a lot of them older than him. And uh, I'm from out in the country now in my Wyoming, Oklahoma. And then the next town's Pahuska. And then, and then, then not too far away about uh, is Scheidler. Anyway, Dad had friends over there, and um, Henry Redigal was one of them. Uh, Mr. Redigal was uh, older than Dad, and it was, he had a grandson, Ben. Uh, that's why I like going there, uh, because me and Ben played around there at their farm. <clears throat> and they always, well, uh, on this one time we went up there, and they were, there, a bunch of them was going to go coon hunting, and they had their dogs and the horn. Anyway, uh, 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 folks, this is my first memory of stealing something. I was, uh, I was probably, I don't know, five or six. Ben was a couple years older than me, six or seven. And uh, everything was quiet around there that evening. And the old folks was in there in the other room, <clears throat> talking, smoking cigarettes, and uh, just talking, uh, waiting, sort of. Grand the grandmother there was, uh, she was cooking. Uh, she made bread, and she made cookies. <clears throat> there was uh, meat pies and fry bread. And uh, it wasn't time to eat. And nobody was rushing. But me and Ben was sent out, you know, on the porch to play there. And uh, <clears throat> it was... Uh, ben talked me into going in there in the kitchen and getting two cookies out of the cookie jar. And I remember everything about it I, I i remember <clears throat> i remember the cool uh, wood floor on my bare feet i remember getting up in the chairs which i had to move very quietly i remember the quiet way i got into the cookie jar and uh i also remember it being very very quiet almost as if the adults had quit talking but I felt, you know, I felt like I was, got away with it. But the, they had the squeakiest door on their front porch. I mean, as slow as I did it, it just seems like I could just barely squeeze through a little crack before I could let it go shut again. Ah, uh, what a story. Let me, uh, I'm sorry, let me get back to, to Mr. Redigal. Uh, he told me the purpose of the bird stone, and he showed me one. Now, his was made out of wood, uh, uh, bodark, osage orange, hedge apple, ironwood, one of the hardest woods in America. Uh, people, if they're brave enough, they get in there and cut a big old piece of it, and they use it for corner posts. They last for like a long, long time in the ground, like a creosote post, whatever. Anyway, let me, let me look at my notes. Oh, the bird song. Uh, like I said, I, I'm the youngest of 11, and Dad was 54 when I was born. Dad was born in 1894, and uh, he joined the Army, and he was wounded in 1917 in France. And he got a little pension uh, pretty much the rest of his life after that. But um, after he got out of the Army and healed up good, he 
he went to Billings, Montana. Well, one of his friend, army friends was a son of, uh, they went up there. And uh, their name was Allison. And uh, uh, dad worked for him for a couple years. Room and board, of course, but there was a tiny wage, which he kind of let accumulate up because dad wanted to save his money and he didn't need any money. Dad was always that way. Anyway, their uh, dad's cousin, Louie down in Anadarko, he told him about this land up there in Oklahoma. 40 acres you can get for uh, $6 an acre. So dad wanted to send Louie that the down payment, the $10 for the paperwork and all that, and get that going. So he, uh, he asked Mr. Allison for kind of some wages from his work. And, and Mr. Allison didn't have very much money. Uh, now, he did give Dad $18, for the $10 to send to Louis. Anyway, uh, so Dad had $8, and uh, but Mr. Allison uh, gave Dad his youngest daughter. Uh, she was 13. Dad was in his 20s. Um, my mother's name is Luda. And on that $8, they came to that 40 acres in Oklahoma and built a log cabin, then another smaller house. And I'm the youngest of 11. Uh, but, as I said, Dad's dad's friends were old. And um, I was always a quiet kid. And uh, a lot of old folks kind of like me being around. Because I listened to their stories. And I, I don't think I was more than 8 or 10 when Mr. Red Eagle told me this story. Uh, about the... About the bird stones. Um, now he, his story was quite long. And I loved it. But I have to shorten it down just a bit. Let me. Uh, kind of. Oh he. He said that. Um, a feather acquired. Honorably. Uh, can be worn honorably. There's a lot of feathers on bonnets and stuff like that on uh, Native American folks. But he said the the feathers worn by the ear uh, signifies an honorable feather. And um, the uh, what he told me was that, for instance, this is uh, these are all net weights. They can be, they uh, they show a place where they can be tied or were tied on. They show where there, um, and um, and they also have the a large eye for a fish. I mean, they look like a fish, okay? And they were net weights. Uh, I mean, net, yeah, net weights. <clears throat> and uh, they weren't. Oh, how can I put this? These images, these images are considered totems. Not as if someone was like, had a fish god or worshipping them or anything like that. It, it, it was just, it's like when an old grandmother goes to the woods to look for a healing plant and finds one she offers tobacco and takes what she needs. That type of thing. Taking what you need. And that's that's the the reason behind these tools that were used to catch fish. Now, these tools, these these bird stones, these were tools used to catch birds. They're um they're the um mechanical apparatus that operates the uh, live uh, bird uh, trap. Now, the one uh, uh, Mr. Red Eagle told me about was, he called it the collapsing teepee style, and it it um, uh, it trapped the bird without hurting it. And uh, the quest of this particular uh was uh, to get a single feather from the bird 
and then let the bird fly away. And that's uh, an honorable feather that can be worn uh, by the ear. Now, uh, the uh, the function, the, the, the mechanical part of the bird's dome, all of these, I'll show you. You, you think about two dimensions. One that would be going this direction and one that's going this direction. And this particular angle right here is really important in, in creating this mechanism. Now let me clean these off so I can show you something very important about that those angles. Folks, I could easily get lost in the images on these things, but I'll try not to. <laughs> but we'll do that sometime. Each one of these has is, is got some really neat carvings of birds flying and first one thing another. Uh, but the ang the uh, this dimension I mean by an angle of this thing, you know, the, there's a certain dimension right there, and then there's an angle right there that is always consistent with a straight, well, I should have drawn a straight line down here, but there's one, and uh, this is another one. The angle would be up there, and this is still straight, looking straight on. Uh, now, these are all that way. This would be an angle up there, and this other, that type of uh, di direction is... is always made that way. Uh, let me, uh, well, any of them. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I pick up. They're all the same. They have a an up angle or whatever, and they have that little angle made right there. So, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but I did want to say this. Mr. Red Eagle showed me a uh, an old bird stone that he generational, and it was made out of uh, a boat art, a hardwood grows in Oklahoma. But he said that he saw one that was made out of bone uh, or ivory or something, and uh, now this is. This is a, a bone I found here. This is a fossilized horn. I don't know, maybe a tusk, but it looks more like a fossilized bison horn or something. Anyway, bird stones are carved out of horns, but his was wood. Beautiful. And we will talk about the images in here uh, another time. Bye for now, folks.